What is up, everybody? I'm putting my glasses on for this one. I am Taylor. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome, whatever. This one's not a cranky one. I don't know if I do cranky comic book reviews. You've probably never seen them. Doesn't matter. Uh, I've got two things open today. Look, thing one and thing two. So the first thing I'm going to open is a prize win for my buddy Chris the Comic Vet. Uh, I'll leave a link to him down below. Give him a follow. He's uh, this, I won this for his 1,000 follower giveaway, and honestly, I don't remember what I won. It's been a while, because he's Canadian, and they're slow as shit. Oh, yeah, that's not really true. It's just, uh, you know, he went to, he's got a, doesn't matter. <laughs> it took a while to ship. Um, but I, I, oh, hey, let's see what I won. Well packed. I won bubble wrap, and I won, aw, my address, and look forward to seeing you soon. You, you too, buddy. Look forward to seeing you too. I'm not going to show my address. You can probably find me if you really give a shit. I'm pretty easy to stalk. So, stalk away, you internet stalkers. It'll give you something to do with life, honestly. But, all right, see if I can get in here. I should have done this all ahead of time, or I should edit this out, but I'm not going to either. I'm going to leave these awful tape sounds in. I'm going to do all this because I need the time view, the view hours. So, haha. -ha. I mean, you can scrub past this. It's fine. It won't hurt my feelings much. But, all right, let's see what we got. Oh, hey, I want a Ziploc bag. Oh, very cool. Uh, a little pack from Chris that's got a uh, keychain and stickers and stuff, so awesome. Thank you very much, sir. And, oh, yeah, it looks like I won two things. I, I really didn't remember. So we'll get in here and see here. So I won a pack of raw books. Very cool. Well packed, even though they're giveaways, which is, I really appreciate. Someone that takes the time, energy, and effort to care. Oh yeah, these are that that's right. Okay, that's right. It's all coming back for me. And I'm not sure if they connect this way or this way. We'll see. I think they connect both ways. Look. So I won connecting covers of uh some Spidey Manny books. But I think they also connect look. Yeah, they do connect both ways. That's deep. That's deep, people. Alright, very cool. Oh yeah, um I just spider verse which I'm Ranya on the cover. Never seen what this is homage in before, I have no idea. You know, it's new to me. And uh, Good Spider Gwen variant cover or Gwenpool Spider Gwen. Oh, and then uh, Nakayama. Is this yeah, Nakayama Hellfire. Very cool. Miles Morales. I think Miles. Is this Miles? I don't know. I think so. I think it's a Miles variant cover. I thought maybe it's twenty ninety nine for a minute. But I think it's Miles. So there we go. That was one of the things. It's totally rigged. I won two different things. And then, hang on. I won also. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Uh, this is a. Is this Todd Knock? Oh, Kyle Hawks. Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking before you see it, people. It's a Daredevil number one Kyle Hotz variant cover. This is from the new run of Daredevil. Uh, it's technically Daredevil 69, 649 Legacy. But look at that. It's very cool. Very cool. So thank you very much, Chris. I really do appreciate it. I've got crap everywhere. And then this, without further ado, is a box from my buddy Eddie. Um, old Man Collectibles. I'll leave a link to him down below. You can give him a follow. He wanted uh, a bunch of variant covers that I had. And so I sent him a bunch. I sent him like four flat rate boxes full of variant, extra copies of older variant cover books I had. Back when I was doing that Spider-Man movie boxes, I ended up with a ton of duplicates. And so he wanted them. And he's like, what do you want from them? I'm like, I don't know, man. Just surprise me with a mystery box. And so here's a mystery box. And if it's normal Eddie style, he wrapped it all in duct tape. But I don't think, I think he was actually being nice this time. So... All right, more bubble wrap, which is awesome. And a couple different things. I don't know what order to open these in, so I'm just gonna go and we'll see. And let's see how it goes. So this is cool. Like Eddie's a good dude, he's a cranky old bastard. We uh, have our cranky comic chat on Tuesdays, either on my channel or on his, it alternates. So if you wanna hear old men talk about prostate problems and you know life and everything else and not really ever talk about comics, you should come join us. It's, it's a lot of fun. And by a lot of fun, it's mostly misery and Eddie and I yell at each other to get off each other's lawn and just being crazy like old men do. So, starting here, box heroes box. Well, t oh God, all right, <laughs> all right. So I got that. I'll just save that for later. Repurpose these things, people. <laughs> I got True Rock number one, which is awesome. I actually might have given away my last copy of this, so I don't. This might be my only copy now. True Rock number one, maybe. Uh, and then, cool, we got Alex Ross, JSA number one variant with the Stargirl on it. So, that's awesome. 
I've been get, digging the DC stuff lately. And then, let's see what we got here. I'm gonna show you guys before. I'm trying to show you before I see it. What is this? What the hell is this? Quinn and Vigil Faust? I have never heard of this one, but it's brutal and it's kind of cool. Act number six from 1990. I can tell that just from the painted cover. It contains violent and sexual situations. I don't know what Eddie's trying to say with this, but I'm mildly terrified and only a little turned on. So, and my thing's lagging. Sorry, people. If this is lagging on the rewind, it is what it is. All right, another Faust cover. <laughs> cool. Devil Horns, act number three. Not in any, okay. Not in order, but that's all right. Um, here we go. Um, I said I was going to show you first. I lied. I'm a, I'm a lying liar, people. Ultraman. Variant edition. Very cool. Very cool. Virgin cover. Covered by Ken Stacy. Uh, plus one of three mutant monster trading cards. Not the big, uh, biggest Ultraman fan, and uh, but it's his first... It says virgin cover. It's not a virgin cover. I don't know what, what this says here, but whatever. I think he got this out of a mystery box and he's painted for it. That tends to be the case. And then uh, we've got a Batman Beyond, number four of six. I don't, this is, I'm not sure if this is from the original miniseries or not. I don't, oh, 99, it might be. It might very well be. This might be the very first mini. I can't, I don't remember. I remember things is hard, people. But, uh, you know, let me know down in the comments down below if I'm missing something about any of these books. If they're valuable, if they're worth, like, nothing, just let me know. Leave a comment down below. That's fine. Aha, Nice. Starman, <laughs> number one. This is, uh, Roger Stern, Tim Lowe, this is not the most popular iteration of Starman <laughs> at all. Uh, this is just a, it's kind of a filler book. It, it's fun, it's newsstand. And here we go, here, now we're getting into my jams, people. My jams, my Jimmy jams. Uh, Swamp Thing number 10, hell yeah. Good old fashioned Swamp Thing. I dig the Swamp Thing and stuff. And that's coming to, what, I don't know, it's coming to DCEU at some point in, like, many, many years. What do we got here? Oh, nice. Hell's of Secrets number, the hell is this one? This is an old one. Oh, 61. Very cool. Introducing Eclipso. I don't think this is the first appearance of Eclipso. I doubt it. I think he appeared first in Showcase, but this is probably a pretty early uh, appearance of Eclipso. It's a, this book is beat to hell, but still. Uh, Eclipso, cool villain. And honestly, this is the first time in all the appearances of Eclipso that I didn't realize that his face was supposed to be an eclipse. I guess I'm very slow. I didn't realize that the shadow over the face was like, was like I'm slow, people. I'm slow. All right. <laughs> Challenge of the Unknown. Hell yeah. See, these are these are the kind of Silver Age DC goodness that I like. We got Challenge of the Unknown. I don't know if I, I don't think I have this one. This is number 52. Uh, so very cool. I don't think I have this one before. I have this one. Um, but I dig all of these. Another mystery in space. I definitely don't have this one. This is, uh, what number is this? 106. Awesome. The multi-alien has fooled us. He's becoming, yeah. <laughs> I won't read all of it. But I, I just dig these Silver Age weird-ass DC sci-fi adventure things. Like Mr. Miracle. This is Bronze Age a little bit later. Um, number 10. I don't think this is a key issue either. I think Eddie got these all at the same place. And uh, that's fine. Um... This is Kirby goodness, though, for sure. Maybe this is a key. I don't know. Like, there's a lot of weird shit in Kirby's runs that you can't tell this key. I mean, this one is kind of the big boy book of it all. It's actually in pretty good shape, too. I mean, it's got some, got a, got a, got a staple pull here, and uh, it's probably a mid grade copy, actually. But uh, this one I knew was coming, and this one I, I kind of sort of requested. And this is Hawkman number one. He got this out of a mystery box from Flo Dameron. He, he's like, I'll put it aside for you. I'm like, perfect, very cool. And I'm, because, yeah, it's not the first Silver Age appearance of Hawkman. That's a crazy expensive book. But this book definitely still has some value. And so thank you, Eddie. I appreciate it. And then that's not it. There is more. There is more. <laughs> Jesus. Um, Yeah. Which is awesome. So hang on. One thing he could do. You know what? We're doing this way, people. Where did I'm like, I'll, call, I'll stop calling you people. I don't know. I don't know why. It's got in my head today. It's called pretty people. It's kind of annoying. I'll work on not doing that. No promises. The video's almost over. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. Okay. So these you just sort of tape to uh, a backing board and stuff. No pull tabs, you goddamn rookie Eddie. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so I have to do this. It's taking me a hot second to get this because he didn't, he didn't pull tab the, the tape. It's fine. I'm just giving him crap because we're buds and I, I feel like I can do that. And, 
All right, here we go. All right. Oh, nice. Okay, I see what the back book is, and it is still sort of taped in, but uh, this is cool. I might have actually given this to him. It might have been another part of a mystery box that I sent to him a while back. I don't think so, but it could be. Uh, Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars. I love these magazine things. I had this at one point, um, but hence I thought I'd maybe send it out to him. I don't think, but yeah, I'm glad to have, if this is mine, I'm glad to have it back in my collection. If it's a different copy, I'm glad to have it in my collection because I kind of regretted sending it out. I mean, this is a little bit lower grade, but again, it's cool. Low grade better than no grade. And all right, Two Gun Kid, number 132. Uh, it's a Marvel Comics, bronzy goodness. And uh, yeah, very cool. And then last and not least, we've got Amalgam or whatever this is called. Thanos versus Dark Side. I don't think it's technically called a Malgum. Well, it's not a Malgum, but this is, yeah, Thanos versus Dark Side. Two characters that look alike that were probably, one was copied from the other, I'm almost sure, and I'm not sure which was which, but you know, it's DC, it's Marvel. So there you go. So that's, that's what I got for you today, everybody. See, I called you everybody, not people. I'm learning, I'm evolving. Um, I'm gonna go quickly. No, I'm not. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna go quickly back through these. You can rewind if you wanna see what's back in here. But thank you so much, Eddie. Thank you so much, Chris. Like I said, give them both a follow, and uh, I'll see y'all soon. And don't be a dick. You never know when those variant covers might come in handy. See ya.